I don't care what you say anymore. This is my life. Boop, 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 boop. Go ahead with your own life. Just leave me alone. So, yeah. what are your plans tonight? Glams? What about my glams? <laughs> are you getting fresh? Thanks. It is a nice dress. Cost me $75. A crime, isn't it? Time? Uh, it's about 8.15. This could be slow. No, no snow tonight. Donnie, Marie, your show's been canceled. Good night. Why are you all still here? I love a beer. Reindeer. Well, there's Donner and Prancer hey, Mark, and Blitzen and... Lieutenant Ahura. You were supposed to be out of here 15 minutes ago. And don't you have some sort of coronation to be at? <laughs> what are you all dressed up for? Nothing. Come on. Out. Out. He's got a date. Oh, this should be good. Lies. Filthy lies. I saw him hitting on the girl who comes around with the lunch trolley. I was being friendly. You bought eight sandwiches. <laughs> I love pimento loaf. Why can't you just meet women the proper way? Like at a cotillion or something. Not all. <laughs> five, 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 four, seven, two, five. Debbie. That's a birthmark. Hey, don't worry. We're not going to say anything to Sunny. Thumb swear? Thumb swear. Debbie. Debbie. Debbie? Hi, Kyle. I'm a little early. But I bought you all the extra pimento loaf. Aw, <laughs> you're so sweet. These kids were just leaving. Well, <laughs> we should go. No, no snow yet. I've got one of those, too. Thanks. It was nice meeting you, too. Face it, you can't communicate with those things on. What? Good night! What? 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 Good night! What? Fine. Don't even say good night. <laughs> well. Here we are. You look so much nicer without your hairnet. Thanks. So, where are we going? Well, I got a bunch of pimento loaf to dump. <laughs> no. I was thinking dinner, drinks. How about a movie? What about what dreams may come? I'd rather just go back to my place and see what dreams may come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll go get my coat. You have your coat. I have my coat. Come here first. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Who are you and how did you get here? Kyle, stop. Is this a friend of yours, Kyle? Sonny, this is Dr. Debbie Lyshen, a noted herpetologist currently experimenting with deadly snakes. She came screaming into the office with a venomous water moccasin clamped to her lip. I tore the reptile off and was just sucking out the venom when you walked in. Whew. I think you'll be fine now, doctor. You're all alike. You were just using me for my lunch meat. <laughs> Look, 
I just came by to pick up my portfolio. Okay, okay, truth. You want truth. She was feeling around in my mouth for cavities. Yes, Sonny, that courageous young woman is a blind dentist. I believe you. Oh, don't believe me, Sonny, don't believe me, I'm lying, I'm lying. Oh, you're so good and I'm so bad. I'll never do it again, ever, ever. Kyle, I don't care. Say what? We're a free agents, babe, we don't own each other. Well, no, but I thought we had a lease with an option to buy. This is a no-pressure relationship. You can see other women. Yeah? And I can see other men. No. Yes. No. And it's better this way. Seeing you with that girl in no way affects our relationship. Are you sure? Positive. Good night. Something tells me there's bad karma here. <laughs> <laughs> You know who he is? His name is Tim. I think he's an intern at the hospital where Sonny works. Cute, isn't he? You go for good-looking young doctors. <laughs> if Kyle sees this, he's gonna bite the floor. Hey, turn about is fair play, right? Bull cookies. Kyle and Sonny are supposed to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Why won't anybody commit anymore? I'm not sure that I want to answer that. <laughs> Hello! Oh, hi, Kyle. This is Tim. Tim? Kyle. Hello. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no, I know this scene. <coughs> that second of tension after they said something nasty about Clint Eastwood's mother. You got a problem? I got no problem. What makes you think I have a problem? And if I had a problem, it'd be my problem, not yours. Okay? Okay. No problems. <laughs> Vodka! What are you doing? I don't know, but I know what I'm doing. <laughs> fights in here, you hear me? Too late, he's gone to Macho Land. This is stupid. This is exciting. Hey, Timmy, let me buy you a drink. I can buy my own drinks. You can both buy me a drink. How's that? Yes? No? Why do I feel like Helena Troy? I said I wanted to buy you a drink. I got a drink. And what is that? White wine. Ha! Vodka! <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, boy, I'm tearing this guy to ribbons! Uh, when's the last time you got in a fight? Sixth grade, I think. And weren't you beat up? I guess. Yes. And weren't you beat up by Charlene Matthews? <laughs> so? Wasn't she in the fourth grade? Maybe. And wasn't she in a wheelchair? <laughs> it had big tires! Are you getting my point? This is from the gentleman at that table. Are you going to take that? Thank you, General Schwarzkopf. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to lick that up. Maybe you'd like to make me. Well, maybe I would. Well, maybe you'll do it. Well, maybe I will, huh? Well, maybe you'll take a shot. So, uh, why are they talking like that? I am not going to sit here and watch this for more than another 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> so, take a shot. You take a shot. You take a shot. I'll have a shot. <laughs> OK, I'm ready. Well, I'm ready. Let's go then. Let's go. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. What about our jackets? Oh, good idea. Thanks. Oh. This way. 
<laughs> Get me out of here. I don't think he wants to fight either. Well, think of something. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> when you say it now, you make a move, and then I'll hold you back, and then everybody's out with their pride intact. I like it. Peace with honor. Thanks, Tricky. I'm not going to sit here and watch this. <laughs> Richard, help me off my coat. Now! Ooh. Mm. Dirty load! Oh. Mm. Ah. <laughs> oh, hello, floor. <laughs> Come on, Sonny. I'm getting out of here, stupid little boys. But I won! <laughs> oh. Oh. You okay? No. You know, I'm really very disappointed in you. I'm sorry. Me too. Here's your five bucks, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to sting? No! 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 This stuff stinks. <laughs> what do I do about this eye? I'll get you something. <laughs> you know what the problem is? It's these modern relationships. Tell me about it. Nobody wants a commitment. Nobody wants to define a relationship. Clip. I do. Oh, I want that with Richard. I want that with Sonny. You don't have any sex. Ah. Just bring me an entree. <laughs> you know, I'm not promiscuous. That's the first date I've had since I've been seeing Sonny. Here, put this on your eyes. Ugh, Sarah, this is a crab. I know. Well, protein is protein. <laughs> uh, well. Uh, it looks like you and me, kid. We're in the wrong generation. In a disposable world, we still want something permanent. You know, you know what our problem is? We still want something permanent. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Ow. Oh. Hey, it just occurred to me. Maybe they don't know. Maybe they don't know our level of commitment. Maybe. Maybe. In this disposable world, we have to show them something permanent. Show it to them. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> wow. This is great. I, I don't like the neighborhood. You don't find tattoo parlors near Carnegie Hall. What are they going to get? Born to play a cello? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's browse. Hey, Missy. You should take advantage of our special this month. If I tattoo you, I'll tattoo your kid for free. Well, 
As soon as I have one, I'll, I'll bring her right down. So what can I do for you? We're here for tattoos. <laughs> what am I, a moron? I think you're here for some counseling. Let me look at you. You're probably looking for something uh, hip yet tasteful. How about a snake on your face? <laughs> no, thanks. She might be interested. No. Um, I was thinking of maybe a, a butterfly on a flower that said, I love you, Richard. What are you, a Muppet? <laughs> Look, a healthy girl like you, I could put an aircraft carrier right on your chest. You could play midway in the bathtub. Oh. The, the ducky is getting boring. <laughs> How about you, kid? Love on one hand, hate across the other, and on your back, an eagle. Carrying a dead pig. <laughs> <laughs> wow, as tempting as that sounds, I was thinking a heart on my back with Sonny written in it. Subtle, but hip. I like it. Let's do it. I don't know. I've, I've got to think about this. Maybe I'm not the <laughs> tattoo type. Lady. You'd be surprised at the people who get tattoos. Ernesto, you truly have the spirit of the post-impressionist. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm not blind to the humor in the situation. Did you get the eagle? Carrying the dead <laughs> <laughs> Not that you deserve an explanation. I shall nonetheless give you one. <laughs> As a young girl, I was in love with the Spaniard in the Merchant Marine. Hey, I was a Merchant Marine. Quiet, Popeye. <laughs> I'm speaking. He was shipping out, and we were both terribly, terribly sad. To heal our love, we... In a moment of drunken reverie, not unlike yourselves. A hit, please. <sighs> we had each other's names printed across our... Well, it seemed like the best place at the time. Anywho, I never saw him again. And ever since, I've thought of myself as a Spanish lieutenant's woman. <laughs> Great story. Make a nice golden book. But it doesn't explain why you're here now. I was having his name tattooed over. So as to look like flowers and vines and such. Sure, everyone has a little garden in their backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Heather, the sailor, what was his name? Carlos de la Vega, Rodriguez, Manuela, Gonzalez, Pizarro, de la Cruz, Junior. And I was chicken to get Richard? Ready to go? <sighs> Why not? Right. Does this stuff hurt at all? <laughs> you first! Come on, Studley. Butterflies on deck. You're up. Be gentle. Take off your shirt. I can't stand it. It's a felt tip pen. I gotta draw it first. <laughs> Thanks.
Hey, what's that noise? A needle. You know, I don't feel a thing. It hasn't started using it yet. <laughs> You owe me five bucks for the dot. How about you, kid? You up for a bleeding tiger on your face? On me? Why not? <laughs> Good morning, kids. <laughs> and are they cute couple? Cuter than speckled pups. How did we get here? You crawled here. Kyle, we had to carry. Oh, Sonny, forget how I got here. Look. What? Can't you see it? Oh, son of a gun. You have a blue mole. No. It's our love dot. It's a tattoo. I got it for you. Oh, I'll treasure it always. Did you hear that? She'll treasure it always. Sarah got a battleship for Richard. Show him. <laughs> no. I chickened out. But I'll get a love dot if you want. Why are you getting tattooed? Did you guys join a cult? No. Oh, we did it for you guys. We were trying to show you that we were willing to commit to something. You evidently aren't. Sarah, look, I don't remember ever promising you anything or, or leading you on about us. See, you don't care about me. Don't care. I dragged you in here, spent an hour with you in the john while you hugged the white wishing well. Not a pretty story. Then I cleaned you up, I brushed your teeth, and I put you to bed. Sarah, I care about you. Really? Really. Then get me out of this bed, because Kyle smells awful. Hey, hey, still in the room. Come on. I'll take you home. Nice tattoo, Butch. You don't see work like that anymore. <laughs> well, I should go. Wait, Sonny. I gotta ask you something. What? Were you upset when you saw me with that girl? No. Yes. I knew it. I knew it. I really didn't want to see her. I just felt that I should. Why'd you see Tim? After what you did, I felt I should. Why did you try to beat him up? I felt I should. Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> well, I didn't. <laughs> Sonny, I'm ready. I'm ready to commit heart and soul to you and forget everybody else. Are you? Jump in. Jump in any time. <sighs> OK. Okay, I don't like it, but okay. But just remember, it hurts me. It hurts me because, because I'm ready for all those forever kind of words. I'm ready. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Kyle Wilson can take it. He didn't just fall off the turnip truck. But get ready, because I'll be here. Oh, yes. Some things are worth waiting for. It's a beautiful tattoo. You like it? I'm very flattered. You don't think it's too flashy? Are you kidding? <laughs> it's perfect. You endure that for me? What a man. Sonny? Yes? 
Yesterday my life was filled with rain. Sonny, you smiled at me. You eased the pain. Oh, that's nice, Kyle. Oh, the dark days are gone. The bright days are here. My sunny one shines so sincere. Oh, sunny, one so true. I love you. Good night, Kyle. Sunny! Woo! Thank you for that smile upon your face.